and the New York Invaders to make it here, get his own chance of taking on Light. And this matchup, this is such a... I think it's a blast of a matchup. Uh, so Fox can't quite do his regular Fox things because he does have to respect Yoshi Nair. Uh, Yoshi double jump to a certain extent. It's mainly Yoshi Nair. Uh, that being said, if the Yoshi's just mindlessly nairing, oh, he's going to get taken for the exact same ride. But look how Ooh. just like tight all of uh, Light's can put himself. He's still able to find all these follow-ups. No double jump left, but doesn't want to go for another two for him in that position quite yet. Like, the Light is so safe. He, he really knows how just to hit all of his buttons in such a way it is completely unpunishable, and you just need to inch yourself closer and closer to him. Uh, that being said, Miles has sort of, uh, you know, all he needed was that one hit. Both of these players, that's the kind of matchup we should be expecting, where as soon as they get the tiniest little bit of leverage, they might be able to take it all the way. Oh, that that maybe the kill oh. them? Not quite, not quite tight enough, and just like that, light punishes Miles over committing to an up early that he ended up whipping, was forced to land, and then just landed right into that up smash. Yeah, and Miles kind of like gave himself like a bit of a head nod, sort of like a, yeah, I know I should have gone for that. Not only up air, but also the fact that he landed directly that wait, look into that light. Wait. He knew it was coming. Yeah. He knew that that disadvantage option was coming, so he hit that up tilt. Instead of going for another conversion, he just dashes back and waits. Oh. All right, sure. Not what oh. I was expecting out of the corner either, Yo. but light. Look at that track. He tried to roll behind, grab his Yoshi. It didn't work. It did not work. <laughs> he tried. <laughs> Oh, one thing about this matchup, by the way, is if you are a fox and you're at the ledge, do not shield against Yoshi. Do not do it. On the other way, if Yoshi is coming back, do not yeah. try and shield him because he will egglay you, and egglay can kill fox almost at zero sometimes. Yeah. Uh, because it brings because he automatically is such a fast faller, he goes down deep, and then he's forced to up B, and then Yoshi can just kill him for up B. Oh, for sure. Oh, light. Such a good position for himself to find himself in. I like the idea of going back onto center stage because the way that Light finds kills is with nail up smashes, with down up smashes. He's not finding a lot of kills off stage, especially against Yoshi. There it is. Yeah. I think it's actually, it's it's interesting that Miles, there was, he saw it for a blink of an eye at the end of that game. Miles got hit, and while he was in disadvantage, yeah. he went for egg lay. And that's, I'm surprised he did that. Because it's a really great mix-up answer to, you know, Light was waiting earlier for down Bs for neutral airs. And so what do you do if you're Yoshi? Oh, you're shielding. Um, but the fact that he would throw it out in a game that was kind of a lost cause is what makes me sort of question that particular take. That's the sort of thing that you, it's such a good answer to, you know, Fox just like being too yeah. patient that you want to save it for when it will actually make a real difference in the game. At that point, like, you're down 110% against Light with two stocks. Like, ugh. Yeah. <laughs> hold, hold your cards to your chest. I mean, that was, that was like, such a quick and well-paced game for Light, too. He just has such a good idea of when things are true and when he resets. He doesn't go for the conversion, he holds shield because he understands that Miles is probably going to press a button. Ooh, yeah, now Miles, he's trying to go in. Earlier, he was giving almost, I feel like he was giving like too much respect. Wow. And this time wow. around, not giving like, him enough. That was clean. So good. He's so good. Yeah. Oh, man. Miles is struggling to figure out exactly ooh, how to really turn things around here. Because both the advantage and the disadvantage have just been getting progressively worse and worse. These conversions from Light is just so clean, so on point each time, too. He oh. hasn't been dropping anything. Oh, I was talking about it. You should be dead. Yep, you can also egg lay again. Uh, so, yeah, that, wow. never, never get hit by that if you're Fox on the ledge. Never do it. Yeah, just definitely something to keep in mind. Tries to go for maybe a jab lock, though. Uh, is not going to be able to find it quite yet. <laughs> he tried to bait Miles into doing it again, and you saw he turned around at the last second. Oh, Miles didn't want that! Oh, that would have been so big getting that lock, but instead the second jab came out. Ah, uh, but that neutral Miles, they believe the eye down a little bit, put themselves into attack chase a little bit too soon, and Light did not find that kill confirm as a result. And now he has to recover from quite an awful position. He's been making so much use out of double jump forward out, out of side B. It's just been, it's been getting him back onto stage so often. 
Glenn is just swinging. Buttons. All over the place, and Miles so far has not found the real punish. There, finally, it's actually a misspaced back air that does it. Light puts on the headphones. I think maybe I was talking about it, was psyching him out of it. Ooh. Nonetheless. He's being so patient this time around, and that time, waited for it. He wasn't pressing a lot of buttons. Instead, he just chose to crush with his positioning and found the kill. Oh man, the high hit of Yoshi forward air connecting. We're seeing a lot of forward airs from Miles right now, which is a little bit of a questionable thing concerning the speed of Fox. The fact that he can interrupt Yoshi from trying to do that move so quickly. The cheating up was so important for Light though, because even if he whiffed it, he was just still in the best position to be able to whiff punish anything that he wanted. Has the right idea, but you just gotta remember just how fast Yoshi is at the air. Is that the new up smash? Yes, it is. Light already up 2-0. Yeah, just the tippy tippy toes. I do want to dwell on the moment, uh, for a moment, on the fact that about half an hour ago, this is what the quid light set looked like. Uh. Oh yeah, he's complaining about the headphones. Yeah, I've heard that we've had some issues. Okay, it looks like Phantom is actually going to be uh, volunteering his headphones for light. Really, shout outs to Phantom. Uh, Honestly. Yeah, yeah. So he's going to be like Honestly, it could be, could be us because like we're actually pretty close to the players. Can they hear us? Yes, they can hear us. They can hear us. They well, can hear us. Yeah. No, no. I, I, you, I mentioned. I'm like, oh, we. I think we're kind of messing them up oh. right there. Yeah, no, it's it's normally they have... I mean, Miles is willingly putting an ear open. No, never mind, he's not. That's why we give him the headphones. We are very close. I'll keep that in mind um, and be a little bit quieter. I was not used well, to Well, it's, it's... Normally, it's the fact that the headphones are a little bit wonky this week is kind of the issue. Uh, normally, it's just like if you're a player, you have the. It's like the responsibility is on you to put on the headphones. If you don't, I didn't. I didn't know we were audible this whole time. I didn't. I didn't know. Granted, it is a pretty short distance, so mm, my bad. Yeah. Well, it's like in this situation, it's it's where we're. Uh, <laughs> we're I think we're finding a workaround here. It's definitely a valid concern from uh, Light, although he is still playing really well. All right, I think we're gonna, that res issue is going to be getting resolved uh, shortly. In the meantime, we can run a few ads because, uh, yep. So first of all, d d just, all right. So yeah, uh, that's tonight. That's what we're seeing right here. Come to this event that has already happened. Anyway, yeah. So every um, Saturday, oh, is it every Saturday? I think it's just specifically this Saturday. There's a Mario Park Grand Prix. Also every Thursday, they have encore events here. Uh, I actually, myself, I do pickups from the Marshall Parkway or East Chester Dyer ad stations. So reach out to me on Twitter if you want one of those. That's for city players. Um, and then also this is information mm -hmm. in case you're wondering what the stage list is. But then also, guys, back at my home booth a little bit in the city. So for anybody that's maybe a little bit closer to Manhattan, you have access to the Xeno Weekly happening every single Wednesday. One of the premier tri-state locals. And yeah. what you're watching right now, this is coming to you live from Encore Esports. So, so many events. You have melee and fighting games and all that jazz. <laughs> yeah, not only that, but like you, so we are running events, but also it's just an esports lounge. You could come here, you know, pay a little bit of money up at the front door and just hang for however long you want to. And the people here are so cool. All right, it looks like finally the headphone issue has been resolved. Uh, we're going to be getting into game three, four, three. <laughs> okay. Uh, and oh, uh, Yoshi Dambi working out that time. Uh, hopefully, light isn't too. Uh, What's the word? Uh, shaken by the the, uh, the the headphone issue. Uh, it does look like maybe, you know what, maybe it could also be that Miles has, with that little breather, has taken some time to reassess what he needs to do. He doesn't have a jump. He's fine. He gets that juggle. Look at that coverage for Miles. But maybe now holding on to up smash just a little bit longer, and that would have definitely sealed the deal. <gasps> look, this tracking keeps on getting these hits. Oh, that forward air. That's a forward air we've seen quite a few times from Light, but oh, man. Great recognition for Miles, too, that that was going to be untouchable, so definitely worth the commitment to go Ooh. off stage. Down tilt down air. Oh, I, I think maybe he was, I'm not sure what he was trying to cover with that forward air. Maybe a jump side B, but nonetheless, we now have Light down by, oh, he's been lapped at percent. Gets that up tilt. Oh, excuse me, the dash attack is not going to be able to find the up air as a result. And just like that, Miles. Huge lead for himself. 
Yeah, you know, we were talking about how, oh, how great that down air up smash combo from Fox is, but it is punishable. That is the weakness of it. And Miles is so comfortable shielding right now. Oh, the that spacing. fadeback. That fadeback was so smug. It's exactly how he was just able to keep on living. And, oh, man. The out of shield game is just kind of not there for Light right now. Uh, as Light, how do you actually kill Yoshi uh, when he's playing out of shield? And the answer is you don't. You just wait for him to jump, and then you catch the landing. And that's the best oh. way to go about it. Oh, oh my. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> I thought we were going to see this game run into its uh, its conclusion. But no, Light managing to stay alive. And that shield, it can't get shield poked, but it can still get shield broken. Oh, and just like that, a falling up is going to be able to take it. Miles taking his first game from Light. Yeah, like standing up, it seems like they're going to be communicating once more, figuring out where the yep. next stage is going to be. Uh, I think that. I think, like, I, I'm trying to think of what stage we might see. It would probably be a stage. Because, like, the thing is that both these characters like the same layout. You know, I, they I, both I, like I, that battlefield type s stage. Well, it seems like it's going to be a Pokemon stage, but um, I think the stage was a little bit less important, but more so the fact that Light just couldn't find a way to be able to really dance around and play safely around Yoshi Shield. He was hitting it. Um, in really unsafe ways. Miles was able to reset with neutral air out of shield. Um, he, he couldn't find ways to actually move around Yoshi too much. So they're going to be going through Kalos. Love the stage choice for them. A lot of flat space means a lot of jump -ins. Also, when it comes to recoveries, you know, Light might have a little more options when he, if he decides to aim for those platforms above the ledge as opposed to the ledge themselves. Or at the very least, Miles always has to have in the back of the, his mind that that's an option for him. Gets that first up here, tries to go through the second one, has the good idea, but not far enough to the right to be able to execute on it. Oh, turns around for that up tilt, and it was oh, really good for him. The higher blast zones on this stage, though, working out a little unfavorably for Light, as Yoshi can still kill off the side quite reliably with that forward air. Light at this point, that's going to be it. No, not quite yet. Going to be only setting up into the attack chase, and now the question is, is Miles outside of that window? And he's taunting. All right. Listen, I don't know that. He needs a little power up for himself. Oh, I guess so. On the other hand, like it, when you taunt after you've just like done a really like you know big play or something like that, you know it can it can say a lot. But if you're kind of going neck and neck and then you taunt, I feel like your opponent might be like, "Ooh, you feel like you." What need an to amazing taunt. track! Miles going to be expanding his double jump to be able to get back onto the stage, and what a catch on the high recovery! Like getting a little bit too comfortable up there. He tried to go through that mix-up. That's the first time I've seen it. And Miles was looking for it the whole time. Is this? Oh, no. He might be dead. Oh, so good right there. That mash. That mash was so quick. And just used the furthest um, reach of Yoshi's magnet hands to be able to air dodge back onto the ledge. Oh, are we going to see... Oh, no. Are we going to see Westchester double reverse 3-0 light? No, okay, maybe not. Maybe not. <laughs> Light still going to be able to find the out of shield punish as Miles maybe getting a little bit too greedy with his landing there. Oh, what a tech chase, too. Oh, that neutral air. Knowing that Miles has been throwing out a lot of those forward airs, he can go for faster hits. That jab is just way too risky. <gasps> and forward and out of the corner has been doing so, so much for Light. It's been getting him out of all of these nasty positions. Gets that tech chase onto Ooh. the platform. Keeps chasing him with all of these uh, traps. Oh, that might be it. There it is, Miles managing to take Light to a game five. And by the end there, that was actually really, really close. You saw how Light started to figure out and pry apart yeah. the lead that Miles had managed to get for himself. But nonetheless, keeps his composure, gets that very clutch up tilt to up air, and we now do have a game five. Uh, Light was playing that game so, so well too. But I just feel like Miles was able to make a couple of adjustments in his execution. He was able to find a lot of these kill confirms that he was missing uh, in games one and two, it seems. Also, the sheer just combo and damage output. He was not doing. He was giving like too much respect, or maybe he was. It could be that he was just trying to figure out exactly what approach oh, he should look do against him. Chases. Oh, light! <laughs> light just keeps on pushing. Tries to wait to do that next option. Is not going to be able to follow Yoshi. But you know what? In the first 20 seconds, being able to put on 100 percent. This is exactly what he needs. Not only that, not only is it 100%, but it's also, if you're Miles, you're like, oh, can I do it? Am I going to do it? Am I going to make the reverse 3-0 happen on light? And then game three starts off and immediately 
eat 100%. And you're like, oh. <laughs> right. Wow, what a catch on that whip jab. Right. Light was just able to get in there in time with almost no percent to his name. Miles needs to get something started, but up tilt going to be the best tool to do so. And now if you're Miles, there are still plenty of ways you can get a comeback going. The only problem is how are you going to get any of those combo starters happening when Light is on your ass constantly. Gets that first up here, gets that second one. Miles keeps trying to press buttons at a disadvantage, landing a little bit too aggressively instead of repositioning himself to reset the situation. And Light has been taking full advantage of that. He stares him down, looks into his eyes, and throws him up into the heavens. Miles right now is struggling to get any, any sort of oh, Man, right there, that trade. So, so good for Light. He's looking like he has recovered his form, and he's gonna need his form, because, uh, my quit is waiting for him in the winner's bracket, which, I mean, <laughs> Miles is just, oh! If I'm Light, I want this gun back, so he's just speed guarding this game five right now, but what amazing tracking from Miles, able to catch Fox just air dodging all the way down. But Light, I mean, Light's advantage is, is just ridiculous. His combo and his executions are so on point, and then he repositions himself on top of all that to still find all this damage. Yeah, I honestly, one of the big moves that's making a difference, up tilt. He's getting so many up tilts this game. It's stopping... That's it. Yeah, it's stopping Yoshi wow. from hitting any moves. It was stopping him from even trying to mix up with egg lays. No, that was just the big issue in Game 3 and Game 4. Light wasn't just plowing him into the ground. And